Hey guys, Amber Elise here. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel where you can find all things hair, makeup, and product review related. So in today's video, I'm going to be bringing you part three of my Shein haul. So if you're interested in that, then definitely don't go anywhere. <music> get into the haul I just want to let you guys know that as I mentioned before this is part three of the Shein haul so part one was my earrings which I am currently wearing one now so if you are interested in that they will be um, linked down in the description box below part two was of my shirts my pants and um, a pair of shoes that I picked up from Shein and then of course today is going to be the dresses so I wanted to break it down into three parts just because that video was going to be entirely too long I also want to mention that the prices that I um, have kind of popping up down here those are the prices before the discount so I will probably put somewhere down here the total I actually spent because I've I noticed I haven't put that in the first two hauls but the prices that I showed in those were of the um, the prices before the actual discount was applied so I'm not showing you what I actually paid for it I'm showing you what the actual price is in case you don't have coupons but I just wanted to go ahead and throw that out there so that you guys so that it would be more clear for you guys um, as far as the pricing so I'm just gonna do this video how I did part two where I'm gonna just kind of show you guys the actual dress and then I'll pop up somewhere here me actually wearing the dress since I can't do like a full body frame since I am using my phone and I can't really zoom in or zoom out too much so with all of that um, aside I'm gonna go ahead and hop into the video all right so here are the bags I think I have about six or seven dresses to show you guys so I'm going to go ahead and start putting these on for you. The first dress that I'm showing you is just going to be like this long sleeve um, shirt. This is in a size medium and it is a two-tone. So here's just a quick glimpse of what it looks like. So I also wanted to mention that none of these clothes, including the clothes um, that I got in part two, had any smell to it I noticed that some people also made comments about this so I do want to mention that I didn't get any weird smelling clothes um this is more of a knit kind of um feel to it so this actually may be something that I'll probably end up wearing when it starts to get a little bit cooler maybe in the fall winter so um this is just like I said it has the collar is two tones which it has like this green and then this more of a tan um beige kind of color it also has buttons on it as well so I really like this I like the feel of this I think that is pretty thick so like I said I don't know if it's something that I would obviously wear right now in this triple digit weather but I do like that it is a nice fall um kind of dress and I really like that even though it is a little bit on the thicker side it doesn't feel very bulky for this type of dress so that was another thing that i really liked about it like i said there wasn't any um smells in it i didn't have to worry about it being extremely too short in the back which was something that i was a little bit nervous about initially when i was looking for these dresses so um that's pretty much the gist of this dress as you can see it on me so again first dress is just this kind of knitted um this knitted two-tone dress and i'm also going to do just like i did down in the description box for part two instead of putting the name that Shein uses i'm going to actually kind of give i'm going to list it as how i described it just so you guys can follow along better all right so the next dress is based on that same style and it is also kind of a two-tone well it's a little bit three-tone because the collar is white so it's white black and brown so then and again it has the collar So that's what this dress looks like. Although um, they are based on the same style, these are significantly different. So this one right here, it is not based on like a knitted fabric. This is just like a regular, almost kind of like a t-shirt feel to it. So I like the fact that there is that difference in it so it won't seem like I got the same dress. I do think that a lot of these dresses came in um, different colors. So this one is in um a size large so that just goes to show you the first one was a medium this one is a large you really have to do your due diligence whenever you're looking at the comments because as i mentioned in part two that was pretty much all i did i had to go through the comments and i went through quite a bit of the comments i compared my body size to um the the body sizes of those in the pictures so just make sure that um just because 
she and recommends a size don't just go off of that because some stuff you have to size up some stuff you have to size down so just try to find somebody closest to your measurements and kind of go off that i didn't have to return any of my Shein items so i just wanted to throw that out there so this one again the colors are a bit darker so this is something that's probably more fall again but um I don't know it's a lot thinner than the first one so I kind of feel like I could get away with it but just because of the style of this and the long sleeve again it may just be something I may wait for fall but again that is this um, dress and I really liked this one so that's that one now this next dress is kind of a um, party more type of more of like I won't say party dress but it is more on the dressier side you can definitely use this for many different occasions and I really really liked this one so it is this beige dress here and it has um, ruffles in it this one was one I had to be kind of careful with I think I actually had to size up yeah this is an extra large so I sized up for this one because I noticed that a lot of the comments were saying that it was kind of raised up on the um, the back side so they couldn't hardly bend over with this one and um, I'm definitely glad that I sized up because I definitely feel like that would have been an issue for me now I do want to mention that with this dress I this one doesn't have a, a bad smell to it but it does have a little bit more of a strange smell to it I didn't really notice that when I first took these out but now that I have it in my hands I can definitely um kind of smell something on it so I'll definitely probably give this a wash before I wear it um but I really like this one I thought this one was super fun super cute so I picked it up and I loved how it looked on me now I forgot to mention that I'm not really doing any style inspirations I know some people when they do their try on hauls they completely fix their outfits up and I personally like watching hauls like that but I just don't have the time to actually do it so I'm just showing you guys these dresses on me I'm not styling them in any particular um, um, matter and I said that in my part two video um, try on haul as well so just keep that in mind just getting back to the dress um, it does have a zipper on the back I personally have to have someone help me get into this dress I cannot I can't well I can get into the dress on my own but I can't zip it up on my own I think the ruffle part is um is a little bit harder to get on by myself because it kind of gets stuck at each ripple so just keep that in mind I have to have someone help me in this dress so um you may or may not need someone to help you but I just wanted to throw that out there all right so getting into the last three dresses these are going to be maxi dresses and they are um, more on the dressier side so the first one I got is this pink one here and it's about as much that I'll be able to show you just um, in this frame but the size that I got in this one was a size medium I kind of feel like I could have went up a size in this one but the boob area would have been a little bit too large because it's almost still kind of too large with the medium so um it also has like this cross back area where the back is kind of out and a lot of my maxi dresses that I just own personally not not just per se the ones I got from Shein are like that as well I just like that style it does also have like the little ripple effect in it as well so I love how um, pink complements my skin tone but I do feel like I wish that I could have went up a size but the only problem with me returning it and going up a size would be that because the boob area was also already kind of a little bit bigger on me it would be extremely too big if I was to get a large so I love how this fits but I'll have to figure out what I'm going to do with the um, boob area um that's really about it for this one um it's not really too different from any of the other maxi dresses that i have but i did like the pink color of this one so that is going to be it for this maxi dress now this next maxi dress that i'm going to show you guys honestly i'm going to have to find somewhere to wear this this is really 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 more one of those um kind of if you have like a special event so i guess if i get invited to a special event i know what i'll be wearing because um you can still wear this one on the go i won't say that um with my maxi dresses i wear them wherever i want to wear them i just noticed that this one was a little bit more um dressier than my other dresses that i own and it is this one here 
So it's this nice, cute, mustard, off-the-shoulder dress. I absolutely love it. It feels like I'm going to a ball when I put this on. This one does also have a zipper in the back. So I, again, all of my kind of zipper outfits, some of them I can get them on myself. Some of them I have to have some assistance to help zip up the zipper. But I really love this. I also love how mustard colors look on my skin tone as well, which is another reason why I got this one. This one is in a size large. So again that just goes to show I had to get these in different sizes just based off of the different reviews that I saw but this was one of my favorite ones that I picked up I just think that it's so elegant and I think that it's so classy so it's definitely kind of along my style when it comes to um, what I like to look for in my maxi dresses so this is going to be probably my second favorite out of all of the ones that I purchased but for my favorite, that's next up. I'm gonna show you guys what that one looks like now. All right, so for the next and final dress, this is my favorite maxi of all that I got off of here. And I hate that, of course, just holding it up like this, you can't really see the true elegance of this one, but you'll see it once I put it on. So when I looked at the reviews for this, there were a couple of girls that I saw in this that I was just like, I have to have this dress. They absolutely looked beautiful in it. Um, I love the colors in this. It's kind of like a pink, kind of purplish tint to it. Of course, it has the flowers on it, so it's more on the pink side, but the inside is more of a lavender kind of light purple. I have no words for this one. I can just, I'll, I can only just tell you that I really, really love this dress. Now, this is one of the dresses that I'm going to also have to kind of figure out what I want to do in the boob area, just because it is a tad bit bigger on me. Um, as far as the size, I actually can't find the size sticker on here. So I will have to go back and look at my Shein order to see what size I ordered. I definitely know that it's going to either be in a large or an extra large. But I feel like this may be in a large, but, but I'm definitely going to have the size along with the price down here. But this one right here, honestly, I can go on and on and on about this dress. It is my favorite out of all of the dresses that I ordered. Um... Again, just so beautiful. It's simple, but it still feels like a statement um, piece. So I really, really like this dress and that's pretty much going to be it for that one. So again, as I mentioned, this is part three. I will have part one, which was my earrings and part two, which were my other um, clothing items like shoes, shirts, and pants down in the description box. Let me know which one of these pieces were your favorite. I really wanted to keep this video short and simple. I didn't want it to be too long, but I really do hope you guys enjoyed it. If I did not mention um, something that you guys needed to, needed me, needed it for me to mention um just leave it down in the comment section and i will respond back i'm also going to be putting my measurements down there so that's just going to basically include my weight my height and probably my waist um my waist measurements just so hopefully that will help you guys out as well i know how hard it can be trying to find clothes offline so i was very nervous when i put in this order but i was very proud of myself for actually sizing everything correctly and not having to return anything so i just want to um I just want to let you guys know that all of that information will be down below. So I hope that this video did help you guys. I hope that you did find some good items that you want to purchase. As mentioned, I will have every item um, that I showed you guys today down in the description box below. If you did like this video, please do give me a big thumbs up. Please do like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Feel free to share this haul with um, your friends or whoever. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will see you guys in my next video.